Hello, my name is Travis Hartwell, and I'd like to have a quick screencast to demonstrate um, a recent setup I just completed on my machine with uh, running Emacs in daemon mode, and also in, which enables me to edit files from servers and other machines that I am um, SSH to to my on my local Emacs instance. I got the idea originally from um, this this blog post that I, I ran across um, right here um, on this blog called The Unwashed Meme um, and I will I include the links to this blog post and the other things I mentioned in the uh, blog entry that I also will write associated with this screencast so you don't have to grab this URL right now anyway with this um, I, I am running Emix in daemon mode as you can see here and it's um, pretty awesome and so then I also have a script that is uh, just called Emacs which is um, just on, on my path before um, the actual Emacs binary that handles the right thing of starting the daemon if it isn't started and um, connecting to the local daemon or the remote daemon in this case as I'll demonstrate here um, I just have a few settings so I can just run it and it'll just pop up a new window, or um, also I can give it a file name or so forth as I'll demonstrate. Um, from, I have uh, just a small amount of configuration, and again, I'll, we'll have links to this. Um, for uh, setting this up, I um, had to specify Emacs server to use uh, TCP. Um, my host was localhost, and then the, the author where um, Emacs stored the interesting information was in my Emacs D directory, um, the directory named server. And again, I'll have a link to this. And uh, the script Emacs does the right thing. Um, and, you know, uh, there's also some supporting scripts which I will link to as well. And it allows me to connect to a new X frame, to an existing frame, though I'd have a little bit more work to do to get that completely working right in. Or also starting up a terminal instance if I do want to start up just in a terminal. And there's also, um, to go along with this, um, a script which I call SSH wrapper, which does the right thing with SSH and sets up the connection and does some things a little bit more than um, the script that was included on that blog entry, uh, I needed to do some more and uh, I found some things that he was lacking. Um, so anyway, I, and then just as any Emacs server instance, if I can, I can just do uh, control X and pound and I can, I can close it or, well, do control X five zero to close an F window. Anyway, so, um, first I want to demonstrate, uh, just, uh, SSH to, um, a lo something on my local network. I, I do have it as this full host name, but it's actually just um, on my local network. And uh, this is uh, another laptop that's actually just sitting on the desk next to me. And it has everything set up, including, um, uh, well, on all my machines that I have my setup, um, editor set up to just be Emacs, which is, again, the Emacs um, script that's from my path. And then all I have to do then is I can just call Emacs and then uh, the file I want to edit, for example, and as you can see here, then here it is. First, the buffer file name is, as you can see um, on this highlighted line, it is actually a uh, tramp, um, which is the uh, the uh, Emacs mode for editing things um, using um, uh, various protocols like SSH. Uh, tramp URL to access that given file. Um, and again, as you can, as I will uh, show, um, I have a variable that's the host name, and sure enough, it is uh, this local host that I have. Um, and once I'm done, I can just, just do control X, uh, pound again, and so forth. So forth. And uh, I actually still have some debugging in my script, and it shows the, the uh, line that I have there. And do note that it does require Emacs client to be on the remote machine. Um, that's a limitation I would like to, to overcome because I don't necessarily have um, control over all the machines I'd like to do this on. But uh, that's the subject for another thing where I might set up a, 
a reverse uh, SSH tunnel or whatever to figure this out. But for right now, this works great. Um, and since it is set as editor, anything that does use editor, for example, if you're doing a git commit or hit v while in less or something like that, it will do the right thing and call this. Um, it actually works quite well, not just for local network stuff, um, but also for remote things. So if I were to SSH to my web host, which I um, which is a Linode um, VPS, um, again, you know, I have it set up the same way. And not that I can edit it because uh, I'm not root, but still, I can bring up this and sure enough, it works the same way. Um, and it's quite performant because it's just doing SSH, it's not exporting the next display or anything like that. It's actually my local Emacs instance. And so I have all the things set up with Emacs, with my configuration and so forth on my local machine starts up immediately because Emacs is already running in daemon mode and so forth. Um, again, uh, this is a great setup. Um, I've been pretty happy about that. Um, so, um, like I said, I have this stuff online. So if you go to my GitHub um, under utilities, again, I'll have links to this. Um, if you go into home and then bin right here, um, you'll see the associated scripts, including Comex, common Emacs lib, connect Emacs, Emacs, Emacs command, preload Emacs, SSH wrapper, and start Emacs. Uh, part of the reason it's divided up that way is kind of more of some legacy stuff that I've had in place for a couple of years that I recently refactored. Um, also, um, my, conf my configuration, uh, my, including my Emacs configuration, is on GitHub as well under config under emacsd and the part that I showed you was under config and general.el um, the rest of it is there including a recently refactored shell configuration that I'm using on all of my machines uh, my blog where I will be doing this is at thetoffsoftwaretoolsmith.com and I will have an entry here and then also um, if you want to find me anywhere online um, to connect with me or or see what, what I'm doing, please go to findme.travishartwell.net and I'll link to all of my online profiles. Please um, do that. And um, if I personally know you, I will connect with you anywhere. Um, if I don't know you personally, I will connect with you anywhere, probably except for Facebook and LinkedIn, since I'm trying to keep that um, to just the people I know, of course. Um, but I... Um, I'm more than happy to connect with you and answer any questions. I, and I um, really like this and uh, this setup. It's been working quite well for me. So um, thanks for letting me demonstrate this.